Welcome to the NetSuite overview on the item management process for wholesale distribution. My name is Ben Gibson, and I'm a solution consultant on the wholesale distribution team here at NetSuite. NetSuite's item management allows distributors to define pricing levels, inventory reorder points, and automate inventory management, all while maintaining complete visibility across the organization. Additionally, by utilizing item pricing tables, you can ensure accurate entry of price calculations on both the sales and purchasing transactions, and as a result, further reducing errors. Accurate and reliable item management is vital to streamlining the order to cash, procure to pay, and warehouse management processes. Today, I'm gonna to be hopping into the role of an inventory manager and walk you through the power of the unified platform to illustrate how these concepts make my job easier and how they can streamline and automate key business processes. As an inventory manager, this is my out of the box and pre-configured dashboard. It is purpose built for wholesale distribution with baked in leading practices across thousands of distribution companies. It contains reminders, shortcuts, and key performance indicators, allowing me to perform my job efficiently and gain visibility into my business's performance in real time throughout the day. One report snapshot I often monitor is my purchases by item. I have this graph highlighted on my dashboard. And I have the ability to drill down into the report to access further detail if needed. Here I have my total purchases by item summary for this month. And I can change the dates here or further filter down by class, department, location, or even subsidiary. But let's look at this by location. With a click of a mouse, I'm seeing purchases by item by location. And because NetSuite's reports are drillable, I can drill into the source transaction level or to the item record itself. So I want to investigate further to see the transactions that are behind the purchases for our 10-foot USB cable at our second warehouse location. Here I can see that we have three transactions. And I'll drill into the first to get a good look at the vendor bill. Now this bill has links to the vendor, items purchase, bill payments, and the purchase order that's related to this transaction. From this bill, I'll navigate to our item record to see how this was set up in the NetSuite system. This inventory item record represents the single source of truth for this item. I'd like to highlight that we have many different item types, such as lot numbered and serial numbered items, kit package items, matrix items to track items by options such as size and color, and many more. Back to our item record, I can select which department, class, and location I want this item to default to. Additionally, I can track multiple units of measure, which enables me to define various units used to stock, purchase, and sell my items. On the Accounting subtab, I can see that the relevant accounts have been defaulted for this item to determine the proper general ledger impact. Navigating to the Sales and Pricing subtab, I have the ability to set the pricing for this item with multiple price levels and quantity discount breaks. On the purchasing and inventory subtab, I have visibility into the item and cost detail, which is set as average costing. But NetSuite also supports FIFO, LIFO, and standard costing, which enables us to track variances between these expected costs and actuals. With our growing distribution business, we support our customers with different ordering and shipping strategies. So being able to set items to default to drop ship or special order types saves me time and ensures purchase orders are created when customers request items that we don't typically house in our inventory. Accurate replenishment planning is key for our business. So I have the ability to have NetSuite auto-calculate reorder points, preferred stock levels, and lead times taking the guesswork out of the equation. Since we have multiple locations, we have the flexibility to set different parameters across our warehouses. Next on the Item 360 subtab, as I mentioned earlier, items automate the processes of ordered cash, procure to pay, and warehouse management. And because of NetSuite's unified platform, 
I have a 360 degree view of all transactions related to this specific item. I can review things such as my sales and margins, open purchase orders, and the three-way match, which allows me to see quantity and amount variances between purchase orders, item receipts, and vendor bills. 